Hey guys, uh, Rami here with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Monday, September 21st. Hope you guys are having a good Monday and wish you a great week ahead. In this uh, stimulus update, we'll talk about the progress in negotiations and also give you a timeline of when we could possibly see a bill passing based on the information we have now and Congress's schedule voting days. There's still a chance we can get something done before the elections. If you appreciate these updates, all I ask in return is please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can keep you up to date on everything regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package plus more money and finance news. The elections are just over 40 days away and we already have some states starting with early voting. So if Congress wants to send out second stimulus checks to maybe influence the elections one way or another, the window is closing and it's closing really, really fast. The need for stimulus at this point is not debatable. The negotiations are just stuck at how much. We know that Republicans tried a skinny bill saying that something is better than nothing, but Nancy Pelosi disagrees saying that our needs are more now than back in May, so we need a larger stimulus package. This is a whole other debate, but I'm curious to see what you guys think. Would you rather get a stimulus check now and $450 per week in unemployment like what is offered in the Problem Solvers Caucus bill or get nothing while Nancy Pelosi tries to push for more? And more here is unknown. Remember, all she's arguing for is the amount. She wants $2.2 trillion, but doesn't want to share what is included in that $2.2 trillion. At least the bipartisan proposal lists what would be included in it, like a second stimulus check with a potential for a third, unemployment benefits at $450 for eight weeks, and then another five weeks at a maximum of $600 per week, as long as it's not more than what you used to make. $500 billion for state and local government, second round of PPP, money for schools, money for vaccines and testing, and a few other things. And when they added it all up, they came up to $1.5 trillion. And the president and Steve Mnuchin and Mark Meadows and others were like, okay, we like this bill, let's talk. But Nancy Pelosi said she still wants $2.2 trillion without saying what is in that $2.2 trillion. So not sure what kind of negotiation tactic this is, but it is just frustrating. At least tell us what you want in that bill so maybe you can even rally the public behind it and support you if you have good provisions there that will help the people. So yeah, that's still frustrating. The only good thing she said is that she's not leaving the house until a deal is reached. So we'll have to see how that is reached. As far as timing, the Senate is scheduled to break on October 9th and the House is scheduled to break on October 2nd. But we already said the House is ready to stay later. So if a bill passes the Senate by October 9th, the House could pass it after that date. And if negotiators close in on a deal, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell could also tell the Senate to stay in session longer or to come back early to vote on a proposal. So these dates here are based on congressional voting schedules and the potential of both chambers delaying their planned recess. So if we get something before the election, which by now I'm personally doubting it will happen, the earliest that something will be signed by the president is October 2nd and the latest is October 27th. Anything after that will be after the election. As far as the quickness of delivering the stimulus checks after the bill is signed, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has said it would take about a week to mobilize the first payments and he can get out 50 million payments really, really quickly, a lot of it into the people's direct accounts. At this point, things are not looking good for getting something done before the elections. So an alternative here would be an executive order. Remember, on September 4th, President Trump already said there are $300 billion in unused stimulus money that he wants to redirect as stimulus checks for the American people. And there has been some talk lately that he might even use some of that money for unemployment and bailout for the airlines. And listen, he's done a lot lately on his own so far, so I don't put it past him. He did the unemployment with the FEMA money, he slowed evictions through CDC until the end of the year, he gave student loan relief and the payroll tax holiday, money for farmers and food aid until the end of the year. So he's been very, very busy lately, and now he'll be even busy with the Supreme Court justice nomination, so he might as well send money to the people before the election to give himself just a huge boost. Who knows what he's gonna do at this point with just 40 or 42, 43 days until the election. Things are getting very, very interesting and frustrating at the same time. What do you guys think? Are we going to see something before the election or after the election or at all? Let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notifications bell to be notified that whenever I publish new videos and new content for you. We're about to reach 200,000 subscribers in this community, so if you didn't join already, I would love to have you part of this community. Also, make sure to check the link in the description for the SoFi Money account, which is a checking slash savings account. It's not for stocks, it's not for investments. If you open an account using the link below and deposit $500, you'll get a $50 bonus and then you can refer your family and friends and anyone you know and get $50 from every referral up to $10,000 per year. So it's a great way to make some extra cash. Also, don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and one free stock from Webull, potentially worth up to $1,600 after you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Please stay safe. Stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.